Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. We have heard so many stories about lost planes, but have you ever wondered how these assets are recovered? One of the most advanced multi-mission maritime patrol and reconnaissance aircraft, the P-8A Poseidon, seamlessly blends state-of-the-art technology with a sleek and powerful design. Born from the legendary Boeing 737-800, this aircraft is no ordinary plane. It's a guardian of the seas, ensuring anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare, intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. The reason why it's important to the fleet is it's, it's, it's the eyes and ears of the fleet and the fleet commander. So uh, if there's anything that is of concern to the fleet commander, he's going to send out that PA to, to figure out what's going on for, for him and for his team. Uh, and then ultimately, you know, we become part of the, uh, the solution, you know, all the way through the kill chain, finishing uh, whatever target is required. Let it ride out, let it ride out. Its versatility extends beyond military might, as it also plays a vital role in humanitarian missions and search and rescue operations. Despite being equipped with advanced technologies, accidents or mishaps can still occur. In November 2023, a US P-8A Poseidon missed the runway and crashed into the water off the island of Oahu, Hawaii. The spy plane was on routine training when the crew faced limited visibility to about one mile as wind gusts peaked at 21 miles per hour. While none of the crew were injured, the U.S. Navy and the U.S. Marine Corps deployed a rapid extraction plan to recover the twin-engine aircraft. The environment was of utmost priority, and the precautionary environmental containment booms were immediately deployed around the partially submerged plane to keep leaking fuel from spreading. To remove the plane, the salvage crews extracted most of the P-8's 2,000 gallons of fuel to lighten the load. Then, they placed inflatable cylinders beneath the fuselage to provide buoyancy. The partially submerged aircraft was then slowly rolled backward onto the bags. A few hours later, the plane was lifted above the shoreline and safely returned to the tarmac. In normal operations, the $275 million aircraft serves diverse missions showcasing its versatility and adaptability. The P-8A Poseidon does not mess around. It has these high-tech sensors and surveillance systems. In naval operations, the plane becomes a secret weapon it helps us to know what's going on in the vast ocean. And if there's any action needed, it's right there, ready to engage.
armed with torpedoes and cruise missiles. This Boeing also has the capabilities of deploying sono buoys and unmanned aerial vehicles. It is a sharpshooter in the sky, able to neutralize both underwater threats and surface targets. For extended deployments, the P-8A Poseidon may undergo air refueling. It is a challenging task, yet the U.S. Air Force crew members on a KC-135 Stratotanker are highly trained. They execute this complex aerial refueling operation with precision. On ground operations, the P-8A is refueled by a fuel truck. U.S. Marines and sailors seamlessly connect hoses to the plane and start pumping fuel until all tanks are full. After completing exercises, the P-8 Poseidon Maritime Patrol aircraft must return to its base station. The crew seizes the opportunity to exercise a safe landing. With high proficiency, the crew ensures the aircraft's secure return after operational activities. In 2014, the P-8 Poseidon was engaged in search and rescue operations for Malaysian MH370. The airline's Flight 370 deviated westward from its planned flight path to Beijing Capital International Airport, disappearing with 239 passengers and crew. Locating the MH370's position proved to be one of aviation's most challenging operations. International cooperation was essential. The U.S. Navy's P-8A leveraged its advanced radar and sensor technologies to scan the vast expanses of the Indian Ocean for any trace of the missing plane. To enhance search capabilities, the Navy deployed an autonomous underwater vehicle. The Bluefin 21 Artemis mission involved mapping the Zenith Plateau with a side scan sonar. Every day, the AUV mapped 90 square kilometers at varying depths and locations. It'll use a side scan sonar, which will search somewhere between 300 and 400 meters in range, and basically it will, will record acoustic returns from the, the sonar transmission it makes. Uh, it will do that for approximately 16 hours and then return to the surface, be retrieved, and then processed and, and readied for a, a second mission. The torpedo-shaped, unmanned underwater vehicle reached an incredible depth of 15,404 feet, but no wreckage was found. The mission intensified, and additional technologies capable of diving down thousands of feet were being sought. Could we, could we just pick up the tow here, just turn around and come back down this outer line? Fugro, for instance, mobilized its state-of-the-art deep-toe sonar vehicle to track the missing passenger flight.
equipped with last generation sonar systems. The Fugro Deep Toe delivers increased precision in imaging and mapping the ocean floor. This allows scientists and researchers to explore and understand the depths with unprecedented detail. The vehicle features a side-scan sonar and sub-bottom profiler, Kongsberg EM240 multi-beam echo sounder, and Kongsberg USBL acoustic beacon. On the other hand, Ocean Infinity embarked on a 90-day search for the missing Malaysian airliner MH370. The team utilized eight autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, to scan and record the seabed. During the mission, the AUVs worked independently for up to 60 hours, scanning and recording topographical changes in depths of up to over 19,685 feet. These autonomous underwater vehicles have the capability to search up to 262 square miles a day. Data collected from these systems were checked and verified by experienced survey technicians and geologists. New information including satellite interpretation and drift analysis, led the Ocean Infinity team to search new areas, improving the chances of finding MH370. Despite tireless search efforts across 46,000 square miles, the mystery of MH370's disappearance persists to this day. Meanwhile, navies and industry experts persist in their quest for scientific excellence. Several prototypes are being developed every year to enhance search and rescue capabilities. Besides trendy autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, significant strides have been made in technologies designed explicitly for divers. One notable innovation is the Diver Augmented Vision Display, David. This technology revolutionizes the way divers perceive and interact with their underwater environment. This tool enhances situational awareness for divers, enabling them to navigate complex underwater environments more effectively. The display also facilitates communication among team members. Topside divers can provide visual communications to divers below the surface, enabling safe and effective efforts toward the target. The divers undergo regular training to maintain readiness. Cooperation with international allies is important to break barriers. Exercise cooperation of float readiness and training, carrot with Sri Lanka Navy sailors and Marines serve as perfect examples. 
During the training, U.S. Navy sailors from Navy Expeditionary Combat Command Units and U.S. Marines worked closely with Sri Lankan Navy divers to establish an underwater construction team element. Throughout the training, the teams conducted hydrographic surveys, employing bathymetric surveys and side-scan sonar technologies to uncover the depths of the sea. Such joint endeavors not only enhance the capabilities of the participating units, but also strengthen cooperation and mutual understanding between allied diving units paving the way for more effective maritime operations in the future. That is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content.